everyone to Madagaijin here and today I'm going to show you guys why I bought an $800 microwave in Japan. Let's go! I'm showing you some really cool features of this microwave that actually have nothing to do with why I bought it, but definitely sweeten the deal. With the push of one button, the microwave is going to sense any food that you put in there and raise it to an ideal temperature evenly so you don't have scalding hot parts and then super cold parts. It's quite amazing how it does it. I don't even understand how it works. And depending on the type of food, it actually doesn't burn my hands when I'm pulling it out of the microwave. So kind of nice feature because I have very sensitive hands. Once it's finished, it gives you a little note on how much electricity was used, probably to indicate that it didn't use that much at all, which is cool, I guess. Is it a feature I need or anybody needs? Uh, probably not really, but you can even put several dishes in there and we'll still make sure that everything heats up equally and finishes at the same time. You can even take something from the fridge and the freezer at the same time and we'll balance it until it gets to the right temperature. I think that's pretty cool features right there. And as much as I love those features, they still have nothing to do with why I bought this $800 microwave. Why? Why would people pay that much money for a microwave? Why would I pay that much money for a microwave? Let me show you guys. Well, it all comes down to Japanese housing, especially the modern types like this one right here. If you want to see some more interesting functions of a Japanese modern house, you can check out this video right here. It'll also be in the description. It's kind of a wacky one. It's very old, cringy, and ignore my Avengers jacket. Take a look at a Japanese kitchen unit. It looks pretty sparse, right? You should see it at my old apartment. It was just a tiny sink and an induction stove, just two little units. So in Japan, you don't see ovens very commonly. Why is that? Well, if you've ever eaten a range of Japanese foods, you'll notice that the word yaki comes up a lot. Like takoyaki, okonomiyaki, yakitori, yakisoba. And this indicates that generally it's been made on a grill or like a stovetop, pan fried, things like that. Any kind of heat on an object from below. <laughs> so in modern Japanese times, things that come from an oven have become insanely popular. And so we've seen the demand for products like this skyrocket. That's why these big companies jump on it and add lots of features. If you look around Japan, you'll notice that space is severely lacking and you won't see a lot of barbecues or grills. So it's nice to have that option as a grill function with a grill tray. It's not gonna be the same thing as having an actual outdoor grill, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? You might think that this is one long advertisement for this brand and this particular model of microwave. It is not. Actually, if you go to an electronics store in Japan, you will see a wide range from big companies, Panasonic, Toshiba, all sorts of different devices for different people in a range that goes from a couple hundred bucks to almost $2,000. It's insane. It doesn't matter which brand and which unit you buy, they always come with trays for the oven. And also, you see this grill tray right here. It also has this little water tray uh, if you want to steam things as well, but I don't really uh, do that so much to be honest. A lot of what comes with the price too is the size of the unit. So if you want a cheaper one that does all these functions, you can get it, but then you've got a, a, an oven space like this. It's really not enough unless you're living alone and you just make small dishes all the time. If you live in Japan, you can see why these kind of units are incredibly useful and in some cases kind of necessary for daily life. So I have a question for you guys. Would you buy a microwave like this if it cost $800 but did all the things I showed you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious. So why did I buy an $800 microwave? All that amazing stuff happens in this tiny little unit. And there's a whole bunch of varieties to choose from. So if you're in Japan and you're living in Japan, this is something I highly recommend. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Hit that like button if you liked it, and I'll see you all next time.